And that sort of leads into the next question, which is, you know, how can we begin to decolonize society and, and decrease in indigenous homelessness? You sort of touched on that already a bit. Yeah, we need to get rid of the Indian Act. Um, we need to, um, I think, I don't know. Sometimes I have difficulty, even though I have a lot of family and friends who are indigenous as a white woman talking about like what, <laughs> what needs to be done for indigenous people, right? So I'm not sure that I'm necessarily the right person to, to answer that. I wish I had some of my indigenous colleagues and friends here to you know, say, well, you know, what should we be doing? Although then they would probably put it back on me and say like, well, you know, we, we can't be the source of the answers all the time. You've got to start doing things and coming up with the answers as well. Um, so it's a, <laughs> it's an interesting, interesting question and, um, um, situation, but yeah. So, I mean, getting rid of the Indian act, I know that's something that's really called for keeping indigenous kids with, with indigenous families, with their families, if they can, I think that's, that's a big one. So ending the sort of, um, you know, dismantling of indigenous families and, and, um, and, uh, and, and taking kids away from their homes and away from their communities. I think that's a big piece as well, because even if we're not talking about foster care, um, you know, we have like the situation that we have in Northwest Ontario, where, uh, you know, kids from remote communities have to come to Thunder Bay for high school. And so they might be, you know, 12, 13 years old, and they have to leave their community, leave their family. They might not know anyone. It's complete, you know, it's just, it's not a system that's, um, that's really in the best in interests of, of the kids at all, I don't think. So, um, I mean, those are just a, a couple of examples of, I think, things that that need to be done. Racism, like how do we how do we dismantle racism? That's a big complex issue because there's a lot of um, there are a lot of barriers around housing and housing security for Indigenous people that are tied to racism as well. I was just working on looking at some data again from a study that we did a couple of years ago around. Incarcer women who are incarcerated and exiting the, uh, the correctional system and their uh, transition to housing or barriers to housing security post incarceration and a lot of the women who are involved in our study were indigenous women. And one of the like really big main themes that came out of that was just racism that you know, someone could show up at, at a house or, a, you know, that was uh, available for rent and, you know, they would take one look at a person and say, well, you know, as much as I'd love to rent to you, I, I just can't because, um, you know, my, I, I think there was one quote where someone said, you know, well, my father wouldn't, wouldn't let me rent to an Indigenous person or Indigenous woman or, and probably not as nice wording as that, but uh -huh. yeah. So, um, yeah. Let me add in one more, Cindy, okay, as well. For um, sure. I was going to talk about healthcare system as well. So we mm -hmm. need to sort of decolonize healthcare because there are a lot of, when you think about institutional, I think a lot about institutional transitions. So there's education, there's, um, there's correctional system, there's healthcare system. So systems like that, where there's this interface between um, people and, and homelessness and and so, and and the healthcare system is is definitely one of those very much so in the north, where people often have to travel far away from their communities for for healthcare as well. And then that it can often end up being an entryway into into homelessness. So decolonizing healthcare and creating um, cultural safety in our healthcare systems is another important aspect to uh, to sort of decreasing homelessness and decolonizing our society in general. Mm -hmm. Not an easy question, right? <laughs> Not an easy yeah. answer. <laughs> so complex. So I mean, the healthcare so the system health alone. Ah. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. 